Live from London, this is BBC News. Thailand has a new Prime Minister at 37, their youngest ever parliament in the last hour, voting in the daughter of a billionaire former leader. Fresh negotiations for a ceasefire in Gaza roll into their second day. US officials saying talks in Qatar have been constructive so far, despite Hamas being a no-show. Global concerns over a new wave of MPOX surging in Africa. China bolsters screening of travellers as the first case of the more dangerous strain is detected in Europe. And coming up, what's been dubbed Prince Harry and Meghan's DIY rule tour to Colombia. Hello, I'm Nikki Schiller. Welcome to the programme. We start with breaking news out of Thailand. The kingdom has a new prime minister. In the last hour, parliament has confirmed Peitor Tan Chinawat as premier. She was the only candidate. At 37, she becomes Thailand's youngest ever head of government. She is also the daughter of the billionaire tycoon and former prime minister Taksin Chinawat. She replaces Setatawi Sin, who was dismissed by the constitutional court earlier this week. Well, let us go live straight away to Bangkok and our Southeast Asia correspondent, Jonathan Head. So, Jonathan, a fresh young face at the top of Thai politics. Yeah, and I think that is something that her party will hope will revive its fortunes. Um, it, it did much more poorly in the last election than expected. This is a party that had won every election in Thailand in the last two decades, but it saw its support eroded away by a much more dynamic younger party, the reformist Move Forward Party, which has now been also been dissolved by the courts and had to reform itself. And uh, the Pur Thai Party, Ms. Petong Tan's party, has found itself in coalition with some of the...